Now, I have a question from uh, A.K. Srivastava and this is regarding use of symmetry in analyzing uh, circuits with several resistances uh, to find equivalent resistance. I have uh, questions from many other students also regarding the same subject and the question is how do we apply that symmetry to distribute the current in different branches and he is very specific about it. All that I, I have come to know is the answer starts with due to symmetry the current distributes equally, but uh, why and how one can be convinced that it uh, distributes uh, equally that he wants to know. And a specific example he has given a cube made of equal resistors about its body diagonal, phase diagonal, two points on the edge, so those kind of problems. So, symmetry is something which uh, we can use several at several places not going into the details of the equations and other things because of the symmetry of the structure we can uh, get some information. Just for an example, suppose you have a, a light ray which is incident on, a, in, on an interface between two media normally. Okay. So, if you have an interface, this is medium 1, this is medium 2 and then light ray falls normally. It does not bend. I do not need any physics uh, to say that it will not bend. Why? If it bends, suppose it has to bend, then in which direction should it bend? On this board itself, there are two competing directions. Suppose it has to bend by say 10 degrees, then the 10 degrees bending may be in this direction or in this direction. So, if this whole medium is homogeneous and then the light is coming this way and he, here also everything is homogeneous, this medium is different from this medium. But then what how the light will make a decision, should I go this way or should I go this way? Should I prefer this left or should I prefer this right? So, there is nothing which can prompt the light to choose this one and not this one or to choose this one and not this one. So, this is the symmetry. So, if there are two competing directions and there is no way this can be distinguished from this the two have identical properties I, in all respect, then the light cannot choose between these two and it has to go normally. This has this is a unique direction, there is no competitor. Any other direction cannot compete with this, this is 0 deviation, but 10 degrees deviation there is a competing competitor. In fact, in this board there are two if you look at uh, in three dimensions there are infinite. If the light is coming this way and then it has to bend 10 degrees, it can bend this direction or it can bend this direction or this direction or this direction or this direction. So, it is a kind of cone on which it can go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way and light uh, cannot choose one ignoring the others that is symmetry. In circuits, if you have a simple circuit, let us say you have a simple circuit which says that you have a resistance R here and a resistance R here, same resistance R here and then uh, it is connected to a battery and a current I comes here which has to divide at in these two paths. So, if not equally in which of the two resistances more current should go? If this I does not divide equally then in one resistance it will be more and another resistance it will be less. So, what, what criteria this current will use to choose between these two in which direction in which resistance more current should be flown and in which resistance less current should be flown. I, have, I am not using any concept of what resistance is 
and how the drift velocity or electrons move, movement or v equal to r i, I am not using any physics. I am only using the symmetry argument that if this is the case that this resistance is exactly equal to this resistance, then neither one can be preferred over the other for a favor that okay, uh, in this resistance the current will be more or in this resistance the current will, will be more. The only option to this current is to divide equally. So, that is called symmetry. So, those kind of things are used in that cube problem or any problem in that uh, cube if you have body diagonal and main current I goes from here then there are three branches. In fact, the diagram is more complicated. And similar thing you draw here, somewhere here. And then you join. So, I have drawn only, so you join like this. And uh, so, from here you have three, you should have three paths. So, one path, two path, three path, right, correct and then you join it here and so on. You have all that uh, diagrams, you, uh, you know how to make it, something like this, something like this cube. So, if you have body diagonal and then uh, you bring that main current to this cube at one corner, there are three different paths and you look for the entire circuit, not just those three resistances. You look for the entire circuit. If you go on this path, how does this whole thing looks? If you go on that path, how does the whole thing looks? If you go on the third path, how does the whole thing looks? If they are identical, the current will not be able to choose one path in which more current should go and the other path in which less current will go and therefore, it has to divide there equally. So, these kind of symmetry arguments are used in such problems and in, at many other places Gauss law, many other places you can uh, have that. If you have a charged, let us say uniformly charged plate, infinite plate, very large plate uniformly charged and then you want uh, electric field because of that charge distribution. Now, this whole plane has charge and the charge is uniform, uniformly distributed and then you are uh, as say 1 centimeter above that plane. Okay. Apart from this normal, any other direction will have competitors. Electric field has to be perpendicular to this plane. I do not know the Coulomb's law, I do not know Gauss law, I am not using anything, but I only know that there is a plane on which charges are there uniformly distributed and I need electric field. So, without using any concept of Coulomb's law or anything, the only possible direction for the electric field is normal to this plane, because that is the only unique direction. For any other direction, there are so many competitors. So, you cannot have any component parallel to this plane. So, these kind of symmetry arguments are very powerful and not only in uh, resistance network, it can be used at many, many places.